Hi, my name is Catherine, and I had a double mastectomy, and then I had reconstruction surgery um, with Dr. Haddock. I had a really hard time deciding if I wanted to have a double mastectomy, so I have the BRAC1 gene mutation, so I had a very high risk of getting breast cancer, and I am young. I was 30 years old at the time, and I didn't know if I even wanted to have a double mastectomy. I did not have cancer. Um, my family members had gotten cancer in their early 30s, so that's what I was trying to prevent. I wanted to do this before I got cancer, and I did, so I feel like I beat that. But I will say having pictures online made it clear to me that if I did decide to do this that my results after surgery would be good, that I would look natural, I could keep my nipples, um, and that was really important to me and helped me make my decision to have my mastectomy in the first place. I asked a lot of questions, but I also had met other women who had done this surgery, who had done a preventative double mastectomy and then had done the implants. And so for me, that was helpful. I didn't go into it blind. Because, so it's called Ye Bright Pink and then they also have like local chapters that do more social activities. And for me, that was more important than like the things online. They're like having someone that you can talk to and be like, it's not that bad. I'm so happy I did it and here's why is 10 times better. My breast surgeon at UT Southwestern recommended me to Dr. Haddock and I met him and I think I just had like a 30 minute consultation and it was very overwhelming and um, not because he didn't explain the process well, but just because I feel like the process and the decision for myself was very, was very overwhelming. Um, and so I definitely like came back like three or four times with my mom and we discussed like all the pros and cons, all of the options, all of the different ways of doing it and um, spent a lot of time kind of getting all of my answers, um, which made then the ultimate decision easy. Then I had complete ease about going into it, um, but I think having like a doctor that will sit down with you and let you discuss for a good length of time isn't trying to like send you out the door as quick as possible. It's really important, especially when it was my decision. It wasn't like I had cancer and I had to do this. It was on my terms and so I really wanted to be comfortable with it. So the first surgery was the double mastectomy. So they take out your natural breast tissue and then they put in the expander. It's kind of like a temporary implant and that's what kind of makes the pocket for your actual implant to go in later. The expanders were the most painful part of it because I feel like it's expanding the muscle and that's what really hurts. So the second surgery I had, which was six months after the first, was the actual implant. So they took out my expander, put in the implant, and then they also did fat grafting. So they took fat from my legs and um, added it to, I, I, I believe it's like to create a more natural appearance, um, which was great because it also is essentially liposuction on my lower half. So um, that was great. <laughs> I kept my nipples. So my scars are very minimal. They're right above my nipple. They're tiny. You can't see them. Um, and like if someone just like looked very quickly, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So I think they look great. <laughs> I stayed with my parents for the first six weeks after my double mastectomy and expanders. And you need someone there, someone to help do your drains and help you shower once you're ready and all of those little things. Things that you think aren't significant become a big deal. I couldn't lift up my laptop for a while. So my first surgery took off six weeks and my second surgery it took off a month from work. Um, and I think that was the right amount of time. It's a big surgery, it's a lot to deal with. Do your research, um, talk to people who have had the surgery before, um, and ask your doctors a lot of questions. I talked to my breast surgeon um, at UT Southwestern for like an hour and a half one day with my mom, asking like pros and cons and studies and science and all these things that I don't really know about about whether or not I should even have the double mastectomy. Know that you're, when you have the surgery, like to put yourself into the best hands that you can so that you go into it feeling um, at ease. I look great. I mean, now I look better than I did the way God made me. So, I mean, no complaints. <laughs>